Yesterday we finished example one, two, three, four, five. Today we are going to try to finish six and seven. Also, but I forgot to type eight for you. Can you add an eight for us, please? Okay, go ahead and add an eight for us. So if you do not have printed notes, you can take out a line piece of paper and copy it down. So we're going to add eight in manually, so please add in eight. Okay, solve by completing square. Yesterday we copied down all of the steps. Step number one, Alan, what was step one? Beautiful. Subtract C from both sides. What's the C value for question six? Yeah, subtract from both sides. Let's do it. Take 30. What you do to one side, you must do it to the other. X squared plus 10X. What's a, what happening to these two 30s now? They cancel, right? So remember we added a blank space equal to negative 30. Perfect. That's first step. Now, step number two. Can you please read Adam from yesterday in the box, in the guidelines? Can you help me read step two? Six squared. Good. What's the B value here for question six, Adam? Ten. We're going to take it, and according to what you read, we're going to take it and divide it by what, Adam? Perfect. So what's ten divided by two, Adam? Five. After you divide by two, Adam, what do you do with that? You square it, right. So what's five square, Adam? Beautiful. What do we do with this value? Plug it in. One side, both sides, all sides? Both sides, okay. So we will add 25 to both sides. Remember, what you do to one side, you must do it the same way to the other for it to be equal. Hence, there's an equation, okay? What did we create here? What is this called? Oops, I forgot an X. Perfect square trinomials. Yeah, sorry, I forgot an X in the middle. Perfect square trinomial. The reason we want it to be perfect square trinomial is because when we factor, Easier or more difficult to per factor perfect square trinomial? Easier. Okay. We know we will have two identical factors. What are our factors here? What goes in the quantity? Five. And then what's in the front? X. X and five. Is it X plus five or X minus five? Plus. How do we determine if it's a plus or minus? You look at the, the sign right here. You see that right there? If that sign's a plus, this is an, a plus. Negative 30, Adam, plus 25 will give us what, hun? Good. Let's solve for x. We're done with completing the square. Now we solve it normally. Here, it's not here. Um, how do we solve for this one? Square root both sides, you're right. This is now normal. What do we see on the right side? A negative under the radical, a negative five. So how do we write our answer? No real solution. No real solutions, okay? All right, Trevor, on example seven, what do you want to do first, Trevor? You mean move seven to both sides? Sure. <laughs> Do you guys agree, Trevor? Yeah, so we got x squared minus 4x plus a blank space equal to seven. I think he was a little bit ahead of us. Psi work, okay. Emily, psi work, what do we take and what do we divide? Perfect. 
take your negative 4 divided by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is what, Chris? Negative 2. And we're going to square it, Chris. What's negative 2 squared? 4. We're going to take that. We're going to add it to the left. What will we add it to the left? We must also add it to the right. Okay, I think this is what Trevor got 11 from. What did we create on the left side? Perfect trinomials. Okay, so the factors, what are the factors for that one? X, what else? Minus X minus what? Two. Two, you're right. Remember, guys, if you have a minus here, this has to be a? A minus, okay? Equals on the right side. What is Dahlia? What's 7 plus 4? 11. 11. What do we do next to solve for x and Anna? Yep, take a square root to both sides. Guys, when you take a square root of 11, how many answers should we have? Two. One's a plus and one is a? Minus. Can I simplify square root of 11? No. If that was a 9 or a 16, would you agree that could be simplified? But square root of 11, we'll leave it for now. So over here, the radical and the power 2 will take care of each other. Now, how do we solve x next? Add 2 to both sides. How many answers is this? 2, right? Do you guys want to write 2 plus square root of 11 separately from 2 minus square root of 11 or together? Yeah. Together, okay. x equals 2 plus or minus square root of 11. Box that up. Now, we have one last example. How are 5, 6, and 7, okay, how are those three examples differ from 8? Eight has an A value, which is four. Would you agree that's not the same as the first three, five, six, and seven? They all have an A value, what? One. One. Not five, six, and seven are so much easier than eight. Okay. So the first thing we have to do on eight is still similar. We have to move the C to the right. So we are now going to subtract C to the right. That means we are going to move 13. So that's still normal. We have four x squared minus 24x. We will leave a blank space. All of that is all normal. But before we can take your b and add it to everything, this is the one step that is different. With a leading coefficient, a value that's not a 1, we factor it out. We have to make this leading coefficient a 1. So take out a 4. If we take out a 4 from all of that, what's left? x squared, good. What else? Minus 6x and then plus a blank spot equals a negative 13. Now we do side work. What should be a value? Negative 6. Divide by 2. Negative 3. Square that for me. 9. So we're going to add 9 to the left. But now, remember. We would add 9 here, but I want you to be super, super careful. On the left side, 9 is really being multiplied with what number? 4. four. So on the right side, you also need to multiply that 9 by a? 4. This is the part where it's differ when a is not 1. Now we can factor it normally. 4 times perfect trinomial. So how do we factor that? x minus 3, yep, equals negative 13. 9 times 4 is what, Kyler? 36, okay, so Kyler, negative 13 plus 36? Negative 13 plus 36, sir. Um, 23, good. All right. So now solve for x normally. What's your next step, y'all? We want to isolate. Divide both sides by 4. Yep. Divide both sides by 4. 
Is 23 divisible by 4 evenly? No, so we would totally leave it as a fraction. Don't try to change it into decimals, leave it. Now we're going to take a square root to both sides. If we take a square root, how many answers should we have? 2 plus or minus. Yesterday we talked about how if we have multiple numbers under one radical and they are separated by division or multiplication, you can break them up into two different radicals. Can I simplify rad 23? Can I simplify rad 4? Yes. yes. So this is x minus 3 equals plus or minus radical 23 in the top divided by what? 2. That's right. Now what? Final step. Add 3 to both sides. You're right. So add 3 to both sides. I'm running out of space. So when I add 3 to both sides, I now have x equals 3. Do you guys want to write to two different answers or one answer? 1 plus or minus radical 23 divided by 2. Box it up. That's it. Officially an egg roll, y'all.